Um, it's the morning. I've not had any coffee. Let's have some coffee. Right. Good morning. It is the weekend. It's the weekend. I thought I'd film this now while I'm getting ready because it will save me time. And I'm running late. I had a bit of a late one last night. Well, not a late one. Um, <laughs> they made it sound like I went out. I didn't go out. I had a late one watching White Lotus on the sofa. Um, I had a couple of glasses of wine, watched White Lotus. Um, I am obsessed. I'm also only watching um, the first series at the moment, but I've heard that the second series, like my mum said, just like, don't bother watching. Um, don't bother watching the first series, watch the second one. But that goes against everything I believe in. So I'm watching it from the start and I'm so glad. I'm so glad I didn't skip a whole season because it's so good. I'm loving it. I've been meaning to put fresh sheets on. I went to Dunelm in the week and bought a whole set of fresh sheets. Um, I'll show them later actually because I have a recommendation if you love like fresh like hotel-esque white sheets. There's a brand called Fogarty, um, which my mum kindly bought as a set from Dunelm. We went in to go buy those in the week and they're quite, they're not like, they're not, they're not expensive sheets. They're just like they're fairly bog standard price sheets. But even that was kind of pushing it at the end of January. So I saw this um, like Dunnell Moan range and they had the pillowcases out that you could touch and it was like a mimic of the Fogarty stuff. So, and it was it was dead cheap. I think we got like two pillowcases, bottom sheet, um, duvet sheet, like the whole, the whole set basically. And I think it was, I think it was like 18 quid for everything, which actually isn't too bad because we were buying it all separately as well because we wanted like four pillowcases and oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, so I didn't put the new sheets on yesterday. Um, again, because I was really enthralled by White Lotus. So I'm gonna have that tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. So the plan for today, if I ever get going, is we're going, we're going on, we're going on an adventure. There's a place called Chinley near us. And we discovered it last year when we went to go and do um, I should probably be looking at what I'm putting on my face. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, I can see what I'm doing. Uh, we went to Chinley last, last year to do a walk called Chinley Chen. And I didn't love the walk. It was fine. It was really muddy. It was up walking up grass for the, like the start bit, which is my least favorite thing to do in the world ever. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of school too much. <laughs> I don't like walking up grass. And we were talking about going to the gym this morning or like just doing something like that and doing something health. And um, cause we've got this lunch booked at this really nice pub. And I just kind of really can't be asked. Um, so we're gonna walk to Chinley. Now I've probably made more work for myself walking to Chinley than I have going and doing a half an hour run because it is, I wanna say it's about 10 miles. Long story short, we're going to Chinley for lunch. Um, we're going to a pub that I've wanted to go to for ages. We explored it last year. I've booked into this pub three or four times and not um, and not managed to make the booking. Like obviously I've canceled it and no, I can't come. But I've not I've not been yet. And it's like a really really lovely countryside pub where they do loads of locally sourced food. That it just we walked in and it was just like the epitome of like gorgeousness. Like fire roaring, food smells great. Really nice local beers. We're gonna hopefully leave at about 9.30. I don't know what time it is now. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a watch. I don't know what time it is. I've just been really aware as well that my nails look absolutely awful. I need to get them done. I was on a real good, um, Simon's 30th was in December. So I got my nails done for that. And then I, um, my good friend Dana is just a genius, like a nail genius. And she lives in, Norfolk so if you're ever in Norfolk and you want your nails done then you need to get booked in with her because she's absolutely amazing she very kindly did my nails at Christmas time um 
but I've now got you know, I've now got plain nails and um, I'm gutted. I need to put something on them really. Simon, what time is it? Pardon? 9.25? We're meant to leave at half nine? Oh, right. Okay, I'm late. Huh? Okay, I've been told to wrap. I've not done my eyelashes yet. I'm going to have to run to lunch at this rate. It's a what? It's a two and a half hour walk. Is it 10 miles? Okay, he's going to have a look at how long it is. We're nearly done though. I'm going to be... I'll be ready in like two minutes. There we go. Perfect. I'll see you on the walk. Four and a half miles in, I am starting to regret my decision uh, to walk all the way there. Um, it's a little bit misty, rainy, um, weather's dropped off a little bit, but we're good. We just stopped for some coffee. Um, I say stopped for some coffee, it was really busy, so we just grabbed one to go. The shots we just put in are, and this is my favourite thing about New Mills, is that it's the home of the Swizzles factory where they make like drumsticks and um, uh, love hearts and refreshers. And it always smells like sweets in New Mills. So whenever we come, we always have to buy some. But yeah, fun fact about New Mills. So um, in April, we're gonna be doing a four day long hiking expedition. Um, we're gonna be doing the Limestone Way, which starts in Castleton in the Peak District cuts through all of the Peak District and ends in a place called Rochester. Um, it's about it's about 10 miles a day. Um, I think it starts with like 14 miles on the first day and then ends with nine on the last day. But it's four days of consistent long walking and camping. So trying to get used to just doing some longer, um, longer routes. Today, smashing it. <laughs> The Limestone Way is 46 miles in total. Um, so there'll be some more, as we get closer to April, I'll do some more stuff about how I'm prepping for it, what kind of kit I'm taking. Um, four days with all the stuff on your back, obviously. I need to get a few bits and bobs. Um, I'm not really set up for that at the moment. Um, I'm very much like a one day kind of hiker and then take my stuff in the car to a campsite. So got some learnings there.
happy Sunday! We are on the move again. We are headed to Barrow Ford to see my best pal. Um, go for a, another walk. I'm so sorry. You, just, you must just think you must think I do so much exercise. I truly don't move in the week. Um, it's uh, about an hour's drive north of Manchester. Um, we're going to go for a, another another eight mile walk. I'm just I'm not cool with it. I told my friend Zoe to. I was like, we don't need to do like a big route because we're not doing our hikes like this this year like it doesn't have to like count or anything so she was like great we can just go for like a nice walk with the dogs and then we'll you know play some games or something you know some board games like chill have a nice quiet sunday sent me the route yesterday eight miles uphill it's raining simon's forgotten his coat so you wish us luck really um i'm just going to be thinking like the whole way up like curry we're going for curry after a sit down curry i can't wait um that naan bread will get me up the hill um but yeah the weather looks absolutely appalling so watch this space because i might just flick to me sat inside with a brew at <laughs> this rate because we don't have to go but it's nice to do some exercise and yeah you know get out and about <laughs> my arm really aches from holding the camera i've got vlog ache am i a real influencer now <laughs> Um, I'm feeling really fresh today actually. I'm feeling really good. Um, we went to the pub yesterday for lunch, had a nice long walk, um, went to our local for one after as well, which was really nice. But I was on the I was on the sofa and conked by like six. <laughs> so I've had a really good sleep. Woke up this morning, put the fresh sheets on that I mentioned yesterday, so buzzing for that fresh white sheets. Um, clean the kitchen clean the clean the house so the house is lovely i feel like i'm gonna go home later and have like proper sunday vibes simon's bought us some cakes from the little bakery on um the high street so we're gonna have curry curry cake on our walk it's like the best day ever so really looking forward to it 